What's up, fellow Super Bowl seagulls? It is I, the OG GM, on our usual Friday walk to the Magic Food Place. And I haven't done a single GM tip this week, so let's toss one in for Friday. Ah, so what's the what's the uh, um, latest hubbub going around in the collective unconscious of the gaming world? Initiative! Initiative is a thing. Again, much like, I don't know, it's like we have five ideas and then we milk that idea and then we move on to the next idea but eventually we come back to you know one of the five like initiative death in D, &D whatever uh so many people playing the exact same game inevitably people are gonna have the exact same complaints or very similar so initiative there's been a lot of videos and talks about initiative and ways to fix initiative and blah 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 okay how to fix initiative it's simple the bad guys go first yeah i know that's not fair really the good guys the players should go first and then the bad guys go second well, that's not fair because the bad guys get to react to what the player characters just did. Yeah, okay, well, yeah, that initiative's not fair because whoever goes first, the individual who goes after them is going to be reacting to what they did. Now, you could have a thing where everybody has to, you know, say what they're going to do before the round starts and then start the round, which means they're committed to whatever they did, even if the events of the round change. Well, you... Well, I was going to cast protection from um, tomatoes, but then I saw... Sorry, <laughs> you said it. That was the spell you were going to cast before initiative started, so that's the spell you're casting, even though there are no ta tomatoes involved in this combat. You could do that. That seems like a lot of work. In fact, most initiative systems seem like a lot of work. I've just broken it down to... Good guy, player characters go first. I start with one end of the table, then I move to the next person, then I move to the next person, and then the next round that there's an initiative, I just reverse that. So the person who went last gets to go first, and the person who went first goes last, and then the bad guys respond. If it seems unfair, like, oh, well, the bad guys are gonna react. It's like, no, come on. The bad guys are already committed to shooting arrows. They're not suddenly gonna change their mind just because you ran away, unless they can do it within, you know, because initiative time is not real time. It doesn't make any sense. It's its its, it's, its own separate temporal universe apart from everything else, I mean, you know. So nothing about initiative makes sense. Nothing about spells first or magic arrows first. It's just, it's, just, it's, a, it's a mathematical mess that has never ever worked and has always favored the fast, much like in real life. So really just, yeah, just go around the table. Just start with one hand and go around to the other. Maybe you start with yourself the first round, bad guys go first. Then you go, oh, next round, Bob goes first. Then next round, Steve goes first. Then next round, Kathy goes first. Then the round after that, you go first. And then you start over again. Kathy goes first, and then Steve goes first, and then Bob goes first, and then you go. That's just it's the easiest and the best way I've found. I mean, sure, there are mechanics built in so that you can take advantage of it, and therefore then my system isn't fair, but really, what is the point of going at 55 on the initiative table? Unless it's a system where the speed is related to the amount of times you go. Then we get into things like in old Villains of Vigilantes, the amount of times you could go in an initiative was based upon your speed factor, which means that speedsters and people with high agility had a much unfair advantage because, you know, they could go, the Flash can attack 40 times in a round while uh, Susan the cop gets to attack once in a round. 
Is there any way to, well, what if somebody rolls initiative and then beats the flash and actually can respond before the flash can go 40 times an hour? Well, that's sort of the advantage of being the flash is that he always gets to go first because he's the fastest. So unless somebody has Batman, the, you know, and, and planned for the flash to be there and set up some whole complicated uh, countermeasure for the flash, the flash is going to go first. So yeah, again, just just go around the table. I don't know why this is even a thing. Or yeah, just just, just. or do whatever you want. Don't listen to me. Remember, I'm an idiot. What what initiative works best for you? Discuss it with your players. Figure out the system that's going to be the fastest. Allow everybody to go and have fun, but not become a 20-minute argument over whether how many arrows I get to shoot around or not, and just bogging down into the stupid math of the stupid game. Because the math of the game does not reflect what actually happens at the table. And I think we can all agree upon that. So, yeah, whatever. Find the initiative system that works best for you. Don't listen to anybody else. I use just go around the table. But maybe you have a better version. Anyways, that's GM tip for the day. Yeah, I got nothing else. I already made my editorial of the day about Critical Role. So, have a great day. I will talk to you soon.